Where can she be? <gasps> it's arrived! Lucy! Papa sent me a package from Paris! Oh, I hope it's the work doll that he promised me! Gently, gently, Sophie! Here, let me do that! Hurry, Lucy, hurry! Don't pull on it or you'll break it! Huh? The doll is tied down with ropes! Cut them! Pull them out, Lucy! I want my dolly! <sighs> oh, I love her! Oh, she's even got her own baggage! Isn't that adorable? She's so lovely! Her clothes as well! I've got to show my cousin Paul! Paul, come down! What's all the excitement about? My father sent me this doll from Paris. Look! May I hold her for a minute? Yes, but just for a minute, that's all. But what is it? She's very fragile and she can break very easily. Don't worry, I'll oh. take good care of her and she'll always look new. Uh. <laughs> that's not very nice. Besides, you're jealous because your father never sends you any presents at all. You're right. My father never thinks of things like that. <laughs> I'm going to ask Mama to invite Camille and Madeleine to see my pretty dolly. Don't bother to ask. Oh, Mama, please invite them. Look at her. Have you ever seen a doll this beautiful? I want so much to show her to my friends. Please, Mama. You needn't ask. I have already invited them to tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for oh. Mama! Mama, Mama, hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> Aren't you afraid Camilla Madeleine will break your pretty new doll? No, they're too well behaved to do that. Sophie is much more likely to break her. Isn't that right, Paul? I can never hurt my dolly because I love her too much. Remember, she's made out of wax, just like candles, and wax can break. Oh no, there's nothing to worry about. She's as solid as wood. Is she? Why, yes. This candle looks solid too, but when it heats up, it melts. Not my dolly. <laughs> Stop that, Paul. I've just put my baby to bed. What of it? She can't sleep if you keep moving about. Why not? I'm rocking her. Lullaby and good night. Lullaby and good night. Lullaby and good night. Lullaby and good night. You're repeating yourself. For the last time, Paul, you're keeping her up. Now stop. But my legs move all by themselves. I can't stop. In that case, I shall have to tie them up. You can try, but my legs are very good at fighting back. Do you mean to say you would kick me? I certainly would if you hit me first. Oh, ow! My head. Oh, my dolly, I'll get you. Oh, ow! Take that! Oh. Ow! Stop it, stop! There's nothing wrong with oh. your dolly. Open the door, Paul. I know you're in there. Poor Paul, I was so naughty and I hurt him. Why did I do such a silly thing? But I can't apologise to him, can I? Oh, I left you all alone, my poor baby. I'm so sorry. And now you're all cold. Your feet are like ice. I'll let you sit in the sun because I'm such a good mummy, aren't I? How can Paul forgive me if I don't say I'm sorry? Not a candle, you can't melt. They must think I'm really stupid. You're my lovely little dolly, and dollies do not melt. <laughs> what a silly idea that is. I wouldn't light up my dolly if it were dark. Paul, please forgive me. Oh, it's so hard to apologize. Paul. Paul, I'm sorry. Come out and play now. I promise not to do it again. You mean you're not angry? Are you sure? 
Yes, I'm sad because I was so naughty. Oh, did I do that to you? It's all right, it doesn't hurt. No, I'm sure it hurts you a lot. My poor cousin. I'm going to take care of you, you'll see. If we wash it off, no one will see a thing. I'm sorry, Paul, I really am. Oh, oh no, Mama's going to punish me, I know it. Suppose I tell her I fell into the bushes, but then I'd be lying to her. She's going to tell my friends not to come. She might even decide to take my dolly away. She wouldn't do that. Friends are about to arrive. Ow! Camille and Madeleine! I almost forgot! <laughs> Do you think this is the way to greet your friend, Sophie? Uncombed and with a dirty apron? I was, uh, I was feeding my dolly, Mama. Oh, dear Paul, you look as if you've been rolling around in the bushes. That was what happened. I was running and I fell into a holly bush. That would surprise me, Paul. You're far too sensible to do such a thing. You poor thing. You must be in such no, pain. No, uh, I'll be fine, Camille. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'll be as good as him. And I'm sure he'll feel even better after he's eaten some of the fruit jellies I brought. I can't think of a better remedy. Oh, I love them. Yum. Ask Mama if we can have some. I don't dare. Why not? She can't refuse, since it's you who brought them. That's precisely why it's impolite to ask. I heard you, Sophie. You know that I don't like it when you're impatient. What will Madame de Fleurville think? That I don't feed you enough? No, simply that our Sophie loves sweets. All children are the same. Sophie, I thought you were very anxious to show your friends your new doll. Has seeing the sweets caused you to lose your memory? A new doll? Where is she, Sophie? We'd love to see her. Come, you've never seen such a lovely doll. Oh, she's blind. She has no eyes. What a pity, she's so beautiful. Fortunately, her arms and legs haven't had time to melt. <laughs> Mama warned me, and so did you, but as usual, I wouldn't listen. Now my doll is. <laughs> Will your mother scold you? <laughs> can you hear them? They're her eyes. The wax must have melted around. We them. can get them back then. Yes, let's take her to Ma. She'll make her better. I wish it were this morning. I could wake up and do everything differently. Everything from the beginning. Why can't we ever do things over? <laughs> you see? We simply have to open up the body and pull the eyes out of her head with a tweezer. No, she's suffered enough. I don't want her to have any more pain. But Sophie, we want to make her better. You can never make things better. Is Paul any better because he jumped into the holly? No, he's worse than he was before. What is all this about? Mm. I'm speaking to you, Paul. Do you mean you intentionally fell? I scratched mm -hmm. him and he rolled round in the holly so that I wouldn't be scolded. <laughs> I'm so naughty. Oh. I'm terrible, terrible. <laughs> You're not a bad girl and you've been hurt enough. Sophie, <laughs> the 
this one time, I will forgive you, since for once you told the truth. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Auntie. As for this young lady, I think it's time to operate on her, but painlessly. Now we must wait for the wax to harden and settle. Go along and play in the garden, and we'll call you as soon as we've finished. Just a moment. Well, Sophie, this should cheer you up. Oh! oh. May I have one even though... Please say yes, Auntie. Yes, of course. You may each have two for now. <sighs> mm. Mm. Hello, children. Hello, Mama. Why are we digging this pond for? It was Sophie's idea to avoid carrying the watering can over here each time. The problem is the flowers. They need so much water. Madeleine and I have planted raspberries in our garden. They're delicious and easy to take care of. My aunt doesn't want us to grow our own fruit. She's afraid Sophie would eat them all. Which flavour did you choose? Flavour? The fruit jellies. I chose one pear and one apricot. I took the cherry and I took the lime. They're my favourites. Oh yes, cherry and lime. Mmm. They sound delicious. I've never tried them. Your pond is never going to fill up. The earth absorbs all the water. There'll be nothing left for the flowers. Isn't the mm. cherry chewier than the other flavours? And isn't the lime just a little bitter? Hmm? Sophie, Camille is right. We have to dig a hole at the bottom of the pond. Mmm, the plum looked so soft. I should have chosen it instead of apricot. It's absurd to do all this work for nothing. Look! You see, Sophie? We need something to hold the water. Who cares about your old pond anyway? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you. Oh, oh, it's cold. I'd better go back to the house and change my shoes. You and your pond. So I thought it was her idea. Mama will serve us the sweets after tea, but I won't have time to choose. I'll just have a look so I don't make a mistake later. <laughs> I can stand on a chair. Quickly. I'm not stealing anything. I just want to look. I don't know which one to choose. They all look so delicious. Perhaps if I tried the little piece of each one, I could tell which one's the best. First, the plum. The cherry. Mmm, <laughs> so hard to decide. I'll start over. Just a bit. No one will notice. Mm. Sophie always has good ideas, but then she gets bored with them. You mustn't forget she's younger than us. But I'm only one year older. Yes, and you have an older sister, who sets a good example. And Sophie has Paul. He's like an older brother. He spends more time with her than with his parents. She's taking a lot of time changing, and what here I comes my aunt. What I don't understand is why we always do what Sophie wants when we are so much more grown up. Oh, no! What have I done? Mama is bound to notice and I'll get another scolding. Unless... I know, I'll say the mice did it. No, a big fat rat. Mice gonna eat all that I've eaten. It would have to be a big, black, ugly, fat rat. <laughs> I'm so clever. That is a most intelligent idea. Paul is right. The stonemasons will build a reservoir. No, I have a better idea. We'll put a basin in the hole with some stones at the bottom and then just let it fill up with rainwater. Aren't you a clever engineer? In the meantime, let's go and look after your doll. Give me my shovel. But it's all sticky. What did you put on it? Nothing. I know that look of yours. I'm sure you've done something naughty. What? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Will you stop staring at me? It's very annoying. There. 
There we are. Oh, don't be frightened, dear. It's almost done. Yes, look at Sophie. She's not saying a word, and it's her doll after all. I'm certain Sophie cares a lot about her doll. She's simply a brave girl. Paul, please light the candle and bring it here. The wax will be cool in a minute. It is true that my daughter lacks neither courage nor energy, but she does lack patience and hasn't yet learned to listen. There we are. And now we must sew her back up. I think we have some pink thread. Here. No, we need something stronger. I have some in the other room. I'll go and get it for you. No, I don't like people rummaging in my sewing box. I won't make a mess of it. Sophie, let's go look for stones for your pond. Yes, and we'll pack them in on the sides of Earth. Hurry! Oh! Oh! You better admit what you've done. Mm -hmm. Admit what? But I haven't done anything. Why do you always accuse me of doing mischief? I've had enough. Don't shout. Oh, I think I'm going to be ill. First, Paul has cuts all over his face, and then your mother performs an operation. I'm going to have nightmares. Someone else will too. Will what? Have nightmares or be ill? Which one? Why both? I know a certain somebody whose stomach and conscience are hurting. But we haven't had our snack yet. Someone has. Oh, oh. stop it! Thank you so much for your help. I honestly don't know what to do with that child. Come now, all children adore sweets. She has no self-control. Mm. Look at what she did to poor Paul. And she never admits that she's done wrong. I shall have to be severe this time. It's true, Sophie's quite impulsive, but she does sincerely regret her naughtiness. Until the next time. Oh, how can one reproach a child for having too much vitality? Sophie, you're hungry, I imagine. Mama, forgive me. I just wanted to choose ahead of time so as not to make a mistake. And the longer I looked at them, the less I was able to resist, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? I'm not blind. I'd have said it was a rat. A big, fat rat. Black and ugly. What imagination. Only rats do not climb onto chairs, nor do they open boxes. Go to your room, young lady, and stay there until tomorrow. May I take my dolly with me? Mm -hmm. You may. And do not expect me to repair it a second time. Here. Thank you. But do you have to start water? It's far simpler to use a donkey cart to carry your watering cans. That's right. Ever since Mother got us one, our gardening has really improved. Paul, are you listening? Poor Sophie. She was punished again. You must admit, she did deserve it. She's not a bad girl. You'd think she wanted to turn her mother against her. Madame de Réon is a bit severe, but it's for Sophie's own good. She's much less severe with me. Perhaps it's because I'm only her nephew. Parents are always more strict with their own children. Mine aren't. My parents have no time for my education. They know that your aunt and uncle take good care of you. It's true. I'm fortunate to have an aunt and uncle and a cousin. My uncle's not here most of the time. His work with railroads keeps him in Paris a lot. Sophie doesn't know how lucky she is. If my father were alive, I'm certain that I would be kind to everybody and I would always obey. Madeline. But Sophie, I don't understand. How can you be so sad when you've got such a beautiful doll? My Lucy, you're so gentle. I really love you. When you were a little baby, you wouldn't go to sleep until I'd given you a long and tender hug like this, my baby. Oh. I still love to be hugged. Oh, look! You can see where she was repaired. She's brighter around the eyes. The pink thread is not the same color as her body. 
But I still love her, perhaps even more than before. She was so brave while Mama was operating on her. Lucy, I... I feel so sad. Oh, now. <laughs> you mustn't cry about the sweeties. There's absolutely nothing left once you've eaten them. But your doll will always be here. Oh, Lucy, I think I know now. It's the apricot I prefer, even more than the plum and the lemon. <sighs> Do you know why it was so hard to choose? Because I couldn't remember how the others tasted, but now I'm sure the apricot is by far the sweetest. What a pity we can't say goodbye to Sophie. Oh, you'll see her again very soon. Come to think of it, the doll isn't punished, is she? That's right. And as assistant surgeon, I'd very much like to say goodbye to her. Oh, yes, I would like to as well. She must be feeling better. Paul, go and fetch the two young ladies, since they are in such demand. You need to ask me twice. Now, don't forget. We'll expect you on Thursday. Will Paul still be here? Oh, yes. His parents know he's much better off here with us. But why? They love him, don't they? Yes, yes, of course. But they're terribly busy people and just don't have the time. Having a cousin the same age is a very great help. If only he could set an example for Sophie. <laughs> Let me go.